And you know what? He's just going through what every other player does. He's only played 12 games with us or 13 games, whatever it is. It's an adjustment period for him. He hasn't played in a year and a half. Um, expectations, I think, sometimes are hard to live up to for anybody. So I'm, I'm not worried about him at all because he's going to find his way. Do you regret having put very high expectations no. on him by saying he's no. going to be the best player in the team and all no. that? And, and he's played very well. I mean, he played the whole, the whole game at UCLA and I think had one turnover. Played well defensively. Missed five shots, but they were all good shots. So I'm, I'm not I, – I don't come and go on players. I mean, I, I want guys to do their job. Um, every player knows what's expected of them. I think sometimes players put too much pressure on themselves to live up to expectations. And in our situation with only seven guys going, there is a bigger load. You know, we, we're not a scoring juggernaut. I mean, I, I think that's been well documented for two years. And, you know, as it stands right now, we want Gio to do more. He will do more. I'm not worried about that at all. With the amount of minutes guys are playing, do you at any point take a, make any adjustments? Obviously, you can't make adjustments in terms of playing time, but do you make adjustments in terms of what they do on off days? And, and right. And how you do practice, just to try to, because I mean, they, they seem to kind of look like it. some of those minutes are catching up to them. Well, we went, they are catching up to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we went every other day since the UCLA game. Uh, tomorrow will be an hour early in the morning of just really, really light stuff, maybe 10 minutes hard. So we're trying to make the adjustment. We've done it for two years. I mean, it's, it's just been our situation where, I mean, I'm a three hour a practice a day guy, <laughs> you know, most of the time. Mm -hmm. We haven't been able to do any of that. So we do a lot of shooting, weights, We've been fortunate over the last two years to avoid major injuries for the most part. I think it is because we rest guys. Uh, but, you know, it's obvious that guys are playing too many minutes. It really is. Do you, do you make any more of a conscious effort knowing that, that you have a, probably a smaller rotation now than you even did last year? I need a lot of guys who mm -hmm. haven't even played that many minutes right. who played last year to, to maybe get them more rest, whether it be... Uh, either shorter practices or conditioning in between. We are we are doing a lot of that. Okay. You know, like t today today, because we're two days away, we went pretty hard. Okay. We shot early and then we just went hard for about 45 minutes to an hour, and not really hard because we didn't break out the second half of practice. So things that I would like normally I would practice with a full team, which I hopefully we'll have by next year. I would go an hour and a half really hard today, and all up and down. But we really can't do that. We've got to kind of, you know see where we're at with guys and, and go from there. How do you plan to utilize Garrett on Thursday? Any different than in the past? You know, when I'm going to see how he's playing, first of all. I mean, if, if he goes in and he can't guard anybody, then you know he's going to have to play less. But you know, Garrett's a guy that I'd like to see him get more minutes. Uh, he's efficient offensively. He needs to play better on the defensive end. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, are we going to see Gio at the point on uh, Thursday again? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, it depends. You know, we've got to attack people different ways. You know, they, they play some one-three-one one zone and some two-three. So it's not so much a straight point all the time. It it depends. But you know, Gio's a guy that you know played a ton of minutes at the point against UCLA, and I thought played really well. Marquis Lee had said that uh, he, or well, Kiffin had said that he, you know, if he wanted to walk on, he'd, he'd be more than welcome to. Do you, have, have you seen anything? Of him, would you be interested in having? If Lane says he can walk on, he can walk on. Okay. We'll be happy to have him walk on. <laughs> have you have you seen? Any I've seen him. I've seen him as a player. I think he's a good player. Okay. And he's a good basketball player. You know, and hopefully, um, you know, hopefully he's a guy that has a great football career first, and we'll take our lead from football as to what they want him to do basketball wise.